Welcome back to Ixion. My name is Nilaus and I am your uh, administrator upon the tycoon. On the tycoon, yes, indeed. We left off at a one hell of a cliffhanger here. Our entire science team exploded and we detonated the Icarus 3. We have activated the pulsar. The Stanford took the full force of the pulse. It's very dead. Uh, that's kind of what happens. And oof, let's see what happens to the Piranesi and to the tycoon. So, thank you all for for following, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. I really appreciate it. It means uh, a lot to me, and it is kind of how I help steer this. Uh, let's let's play for what? Let's see. The Piranesi has been defeated. Huh. Well, that was easy. Huh. So it's parked here. Nice. And all the drone swarms are also gone. Sweet. Uh, that's great. Uh, I think we need to build another uh, another ship. Another sign ship? Yep, let's build another sign ship. We're running out of sign ships. Ooh, that's not easy. Right, that's kind of bad. Because that's going to be difficult to get those in here. Uh, well, it's not quite full, so it should be getting in. Alright, search the Piranesi again for the Remus uh, coordinates. Okay, so we need to figure out where those coordinates are. And we are also up here. We have one and two locations that we still need to do. And then we need to figure out what happens here at, uh, uh, at the location. Right, and I want to check how many... Okay, this one's almost empty. And oh, this is going to be a bit tight, isn't it? I guess they can get up to 400... So this is going to be difficult to get that completed here, I guess. Uh, how are we going to do Well, I guess it's slowly coming in. Yeah, it's slowly coming in here. All right, it'll get there. And in the meantime, we have uh, over here, this one is uh, just collecting the last bit of science. And we should see what happens at 12J. Scans of 12J have picked up unusual electromagnetic activity on its surface. Although not of great intensity, it would seem electromagnetic wind traverses the planet. The, systems, the ship's PA uh, became corrupted during the descent to 12J and we had to shut it down. As a result, we can only transmit partial information guided by the wind currents of the planet. We were able to locate a suitable landing area, angular and extraordinary crystalline structures composed of sodium chloride rise from the planet's surface. Our time on 12J must be short. Mm -hmm. Its electromagnetic activity seems to impact the Barsherville and the system. Uh, let's study the electromagnetic activity. That's more important and interesting to figure out. Maybe we'll find a way to stay there a bit longer. In our ship, we only have like... Uh, section six or section four here that is uh, the only one that is kind of not really doing anything we can set this up to be just a storage for whatever we want to store so i think i'll just uh, put some extra food storage here because uh, that uh, that'll just be nice to have extra food storage somewhere and i will be checking this so it goes up to 240 great just want to make sure that we have like more storage everywhere that we can uh, we can have it it'll just be kind of like a backup thing i guess uh, let's go. Let's go with 400. That'll be our backup food in case uh, we run out or something bad happens. So we just did a little shuffling here. You can see here now. I want to even out at 800 each location, and I want to send more uh, non-workers into sector four so that we can convert them into colonists just because. And out on the world map, we are still. Uh, still working on the Barsherville is working here and we are just waiting for a sign ship to be produced. We just uh, created a new ship, the Medusa, and the Medusa will be, hmm, I guess we'll send you over here, uh, even though I want to claim that as well. And we also have at this location, we have a update on 12J. Complete. <clears throat> While carrying out Spectros Spectrometric analysis. The team of the Barsherville located a source of electromagnetic emission coming from an angular tunnel with a crystalline composition. The sides of the tunnel reflect like mirrors. The team's report deals with how as they advance, dark shapes moved within the mirror like walls and removed the, sh the crew's reflected selves. Uh, that, that seems weird. So they lost their shadows. These accounts would be dismissed as hallucinations. However, the visual capture of the team confirms their reports and only one 
crew member appear to still possess their reflection. Psychological monitoring of the Bajaville team register rising levels of panic among its members. Yeah, no shit. Uh, break the mirror. Ah, we'll continue down the tunnel. What could possibly go wrong? They are already lost their shadows, so what more can they lose? Their, their lives? Shut up. Right, so I uh, changed my mind. Here, I don't want this to be a food storage, although food is nice. Then uh, I rather want this to be uh, uh, getting more of our... Because now we have space for it. So, whoops. Oh, that's definitely not what I want. I don't want to zoom out when I'm here. Um, Which ones are the ones? It's that one and that one. The Pandora and the Pelican. Those are the ones that will now be bringing in more of this. Uh, more of the... More of uh, the Kranich Pods. Yes. So, Kranich Pods, you are here. And you'll just be getting like a maximum... No, that's not you. Uh, the minimum and... Minimum and crowning pods, maximum. Yeah, maximum crowning pods. That means we also need to make some crowning pods extraction thing. This is going to be like a... It's, it's not super necessary, I guess. Uh, that's not a crowning pod. What the hell am I doing? I was like, that's a big building. And it is this one, crowning center. There we go. I'll build you here and here. Yeah, they're kind of temporary things. So we'll build those two and then uh, we'll be able to extract as many as we want in this location just to supplement so we can get those 800 uh, out and about and into our our colony here. Now we have 800 in each one. That's pretty good. But you know, I want all of them. We're here to save humanity. So let's get out there and save humanity. We have arrived at the Piranesi. So let's figure out what we can do here. Uh, the Pyrenees has been disabled by the pulse. Its drones have been fried, its missiles detonated, and the, as the pulse hit electrical arcs and explosions rippled across the ship's hull. The Tycoon crew standing witness all the... Uh, all the while. Okay. Uh, we have successfully entered the Pyrenees through the breach in the hull. The doors... All the doors and airlocks are not damaged by the pulse have, have closed. Mm. Most systems that are visible appear to have melted. The walls ooze a black gritty oil. Proceed. Two turns of proceeding here. Uh, they are still working their way through the crystalline tunnels on 12J. So it looks like our colonists are tired of being colonists. So they want to be picked up. Well, that uh, if we survive this, then we can send them over to pick up the colonists or see what they have to offer. Uh, for a short time period of time, contact was lost with the team of the Bosheville when it re-established. Only uh, Devi reported in. Devi again? They have transmitted a report that is incredibly detailed and of a length that indicates the completion of several decades of work. Their vital signs are extremely worrying and they seem to be severely fatigued. So four people lost and David survived again. That guy is persistent. There you go. Huh. But we didn't get any signs from it. Uh, okay. Well, the Bosheville, you need to go back to uh, refuel and get some more stuff here. Oh, look at that. The Piranesi is ready to go. Let's see what we have here. Ship team has completed a task. All right, good news only. The interior of the Piranesi has been severely damaged. Blue fire still flickers in corners of the ship. Whole areas have collapsed in on themselves. Some of the debris looks almost organic. We have taken pictures of what appear to be biological neural networks seemingly used in the activation of the ship's airlock. Drones litter the floor and hang from broken piping. On our way to the storage location, we pass a huge translucent pod. Decaying bodies float on the white bath of liquid it contains. You can see the color of their uniforms, crew from the Etimananki. Despite the many obstacles, we have reached the devices that hold the Remus coordinates. We are ready to activate transfer. Ah, so we need to be next to it. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, luckily, this is just outside the storm, so that's a good news, right? Yeah, more the accidents. Tycoon. There's always more accidents. I guess that... Hmm. Oh, like me rotating this map will just make me really confused. Uh, I guess we just fly back to this one and hope it's not inside that this storm. If it is, it is, and uh, we we have to do it anyway. We can survive the storm for a bit, and off we go into the wild. All right, the Piranesi is ready. We can we have arrived at the Piranesi, and it looks like we are not inside the storm at this point. So that's very lucky. Good place we disabled it. Uh, let's see, the interior of the Pyrenees is severely damaged, but blue fire still flickers in corners of the ship while whole areas have collapsed in on themselves. Some of the debris looks almost organic. That was what we saw last time. Um, we need to transfer. Once the tycoon is connected, we will 
finally be able to retrieve the Volcornets and reach Remus to establish a new home. Hopefully. But we also need to uh, figure out what's up here. I have a suspicion that they're not going to be happy. Then they're just never happy. Like, oh, it's only 99% chance. Whoa. That was insane. 23 people wounded. Uh, let's get you in here and get some more crew on board. Once we have the more crew, we will be... But let's figure out what that request is. <clears throat> All right. Uh, the team uh, from 12C mission have returned to the station. Some members of the team appear to experience a distress and confusion, reporting inconsistency between the tycoon they left and the tycoon they have returned to. On landing, one of the team was greeted by their daughter, whom they thought lost on Earth. The daughter insists she embarked the tycoon. At the same time as the parent, another is convinced that her husband is on board the tycoon. Records indicate that the husband was affiliated with the Dolores fraternities and probably died during the lunar chism. Uh, yeah, so self-similar space. There might be uh, more except more copies of this. They might perform autopsies. Oh no. Uh, they'll find their bearings. I mean, they found their daughter that they thought lost. That's going to be a good, that's a good thing. Um, intense Munchian psychotherapy. Nah, let, they'll, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. It's fine. And the uh, Bargerville needs to. What is it? That new, new crew members are boarding. All right, all right. Let's get those uh, boarding and then send them over to the new location. Yeah, there we go. Off you go into the next mission. The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. Whoa. Something. Power supply overloaded. Whoa. That. How the hell did that happen? What did I just switch An accident on? Accident has occurred in the tycoon. Weird. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Oh, right. It's one of these that switched off. Oops. Uh, that's not good. We'll switch one of these power on. Power supply overloaded. Oh, come on. It's a power plant. It's supposed to be powering. There we go. Power restored. Wow. Every time you hit the overload, then it it goes off. Oops. Uh, there we go. We'll, we'll do that. And are we okay now? Yeah, let's switch this back on. Yeah, so that is a problem. When no nuclear power plants tear up damage. Isn't there a, a research that prevents damage in nuclear power plants? I thought there was. Huh. No? Guess not. Well, construction cost is kind of relevant. Uh, work analytics. We have no science in progress. So let's continue on. Here's something on the waste part. Recycling. We can do that. You can't do until you get more of this. So we'll just continue working on these so we enable more on the waste and nuclear power plants. A science ship team has completed a task. Excellent, the Piranesi. We are now extracting the- science them. ship has arrived at its destination. Okay, uh, we will do the Piranesi first. Transfer is complete. All lights are green. We took advantage of the time it took to recover the coordinates to analyze what was left of the system on board the Piranesi. The use of its main weapon and its Menanke's defense effort left it terribly weakened. The ship seems to still vibrate with what perhaps could be called its final breath. It should not be long before it fully collapses in on itself. We should get as far away as possible when this amalgamation of evil technology breathes its last breath uh, at the end of its agony. It could be devastating. End of it all. The end of it all. Great. And we'll jump to the next coordinate. Yeah, but I kind of... We're not quite there yet, are we? Uh, I'm going to be sending you or to this location. And let's... Yeah, let's get you directly to this location. 2.3. I hope we can get there without uh, fraying all of our networks. But, you know... Oh, look at that. The Piranesi in the background. Oof. Should have probably just stick, stuck around a little bit more just to see that. And we are also coming up here. Let's figure out what uh, what they are complaining about here at this location. Caution. Entering stellar storm. We have completed our colonial study of uh, 12E. Colonization success rate of planets like 12E are estimated at 34.8. Go ahead then. Ugh, the one, they, they are lazy. They are lazy. They just don't want to stick around here. Now at this point we could uh, just uh, roam through everything here and just get what we want. But... Um, I honestly don't think we need a whole lot more from this location. So we'll uh, get these things and then we'll be firing off into the fourth, fifth and final chapter of, uh, of this beautiful story.
We have picked up everything we want in this sector. And although there is tons of stuff uh, remaining here and we could sit around here and just harvest it. If we look at how much we have, uh, we have 2000 alloys. Yeah, uh, 500. We certainly have enough of everything. So there's really no reason for us to sit around here. We have collected what we wanted to collect. And that's all the people and all the cryopods from the sector. Those are things we absolutely want. And aside from this, we are fully stocked on everything we want. And therefore, it's time for us to warp into the next uh, hit in the Ixian engine and getting started for getting into the next zone. Well, we got. Must return to the tycoon before Volt jump initiation. Thank you. We beat the uh, we beat the Piranesi, and it is time for us to head into the next zone. So, as usual, when they are uh, transitioning into a new zone, that is a good uh, time for me to sort of transition out and just leave it as a cliffhanger when we get uh, into the next zone. So let's do that again. Thank you very much everyone for following along and we are coming up on the fifth chapter. See an engine ready. Until next time, take care and stay effective. Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. I sense Remus. We have reached the Ilya system. Structural failure of the Tycoon is near. We should initiate the Neocond colonization protocol. <laughs> 